Now we have a Friends of the Rodeo presentation, Nicole and Quincy Rosser. Thank you. By the way, your hair looks amazing. Yes. Just saying. I'm sorry. Hi, Jackie Selman with the Friends of the Marysville Stampede, uh, Mayor Harris, council members. Thank you for allowing us a few minutes today to talk rodeo. One of the things we want to talk about, this is our sixth year with the Friends of the Marysville Stampede. So we got together six years ago. We said, how do we enhance that rodeo, which had been going for 80 years at that point, to bring more people down to Cotton Rosser's Riverfront Park? So, of course, with the help of folks like Recology, and I'm really happy that they're here today because six years ago you stood there with me and we uh, really wanted to get involved. All the other sponsors, we couldn't do it without you. Um, we just want to say tonight, uh, we've increased our attendance every year. So when we had to move away from Memorial Weekend to move it into September, it probably was a blessing. We uh, also do the Cowgirl Soiree, which is a event for women. Nice little afternoon on a Friday with a few little cocktails. And we've sold out, and this will be our third year, mm -hmm. third year, and we've sold out already. So, and all that money goes back into enhancing the experience of the rodeo. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to Nicole, and I'm going to hand that. And I'm going to kind of go over what we have lined up for this year, and um, I'm not going to go into any detail. Um, I'm going to let Wendy talk about Western Wednesdays, and Jackie mentioned the Cowgirl Soiree, which is on Friday the 6th, but <laughs> um, <laughs> the week of the rodeo, we've tried to have events leading up so that everybody can... Um, hopefully get more community participation um, leading up and get excited about the rodeo coming up. Sorry if I'm reaching every different way with him. Um, so we start off on a Wednesday the 11th, September 11th, with the cattle drive. And we're going to start it again at the town center by the fountains on Plymouth Street. And it will make its way over the bridge, down through the center of Marysville, and back and ending at Riverfront Park. It's the same route as we did last year, and we're providing some information to all of the council in there on the cattle drive route as well. Um, and thank you, special thank you to um, Yuba City Police Department um, for helping us facilitate that because they're huge into being able to make that happen with the rolling street closures and what have you. So we really appreciate your guys' assistance. The next day, Thursday, we have the Gibbicky Ford um, and the chamber business after, after hours party and rodeo kickoff, and that's at 5.30 in the evening. Cattle drives also at 5.30 if I missed that. And then we also have a local team roping qualifier at Riverfront Park the same night at 5.30. And then Friday, we have the kids rodeo in the morning. Um, Jackie might have touched on that a little bit, but we have five schools coming this year, about 2,000 kids, and that's free for <laughs> them to come. Um, and experience a little bit about the Western heritage and hopefully get a highlight of, of what's going on. So, um, and then hopefully they come back to the rodeo over the weekend. And then that night is Sod Busters um, from, with Marysville Rotary. And then Saturday and Sunday are the two days of the stampede. Saturday is Military Appreciation Day where all military and veterans get in for free. And that's at 5 p.m. And Sunday is Tough Enough to Wear Pink Day which is at 3.30 performance, and that's where we um, try to give a portion of the gate proceeds as well as some other um, raffle proceeds and so forth to um, Givikis Caring Women for Foundation as well as the Cancer Center. Um, in the last few years, I think, the last three years, we've given $10,000 each year back to those charities. So um, with that, um, that's our lineup of events. I just... <laughs> Sorry. Um, this is rodeo. Quincy is here to entertain as well because his, everybody else is out of town putting on rodeos elsewhere right now. So um, on behalf of the Rosser family, I do want to thank the city of Yuba City for you guys' continued support. We greatly appreciate it. We're trying to make this a community event. Um, it's very important for Cotton to continue this legacy. Okay. <laughs> Locally, <laughs> hopefully we don't break too much before we leave. And we'll so I will turn it over to Kelly. 
I might have to get that back to you in a second. I'm going to be pretty name. boring compared to him. Um, <laughs> so like Nicole said, we've tried to get the community more involved. And so last year we started with the cattle drive with um, inviting the local high schools, FFA department or groups to come out and um, submit a float. And so we had, um, last year I think we had five high schools that did that. And then we had two bands, the Wheatland Band and the or Wheatland High School Band and the Yuba City High School Band along the route as well. So um, we intend to do that again this year. So far we have commitment from Yuba City High School and River Valley High School. So I'm excited to have the Yuba City representation there. Um, but it just provides a little bit more entertainment and community involvement for that. And then, of course, I hope you all can come on Thursday to give a key forward for our kickoff party. And here's Wendy Zapata. <laughs> Hi, everybody. It is the most wonderful time of the year, always in this community. There is not a season that we aren't all giving. So thank you to Recology for providing the buses once again for the schools. I know some other people have stepped up, but that's just amazing. Some of these kids, it's the only time they'll ever see a rodeo. And the magic and the memories are just, you know, I mean, it's, it's unforgettable. I owe Mr. Vice Mayor over here, Manny Cardoza, a big thank you for helping me get the word out on the window uh, painting and um, the uh, displays. I was on vacation and he took it upon himself to go out and get a lot of people involved. So what I just want to talk about is, as you see out here, City Hall, uh, the windows are painted rodeo style. Small businesses really get involved um, to show their spirit, their Western spirit, and do a display or dust off their boots and you know dress Western on Wednesdays. And all of you can do the same. Um, we've had some really good uh, pictures and people, and a lot of new people are coming in and supporting the rodeo this year. Float me is one. I can't wait to see what their window looks like. Hi, hey, Jackie. <laughs> um, Council, I have left you some um, rodeo stats with Terrell, and thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jackie, how many years did you say? 86. The rodeo is six this year. So it's not your first rodeo? <laughs> yeah. That was just way too easy. Uh, I, I'm going to speak, yeah, through the mayor. I've already got thrashed with water. <laughs> through, through the mayor. After your um, easy walk in joke, I appreciate that. Um, I think that this rodeo is just a fantastic, fantastic event. And having um, seen all the excitement about it, and so having this impact. Uh, having this 86 years is just, you know, legacy, right? Community to community. So thank you for so much. And uh, I think we're hopefully as a city council will be there possibly. I, I so yeah. I, thank you. Thanks for encouraging us to be there so much. But um, I guess we'll figure out what about tickets to get there? You know, how do people get tickets if they just go online and... Yeah. Okay. All right. Very Thank inexpensive for a pro rodeo. So. Perfect. I'll, I'll be in attendance, not on the rodeo. <laughs> yeah, it's like everyone left you. <laughs> Thanks, Jackie. 